I'm Sharon Dicknail in London, also on the... Now, U.S. President Trump has also announced plans for $60 billion worth of tariffs on China, moving the prospect of a trade war between the world's two largest economies a step closer. And Mr. Trump said the levies were needed to end what he said was the biggest trade deficit in history. Well, Donald Trump's move has prompted a swift response from China. Beijing forcefully denounced the tariffs, saying it will defend its own legitimate interests with all necessary measures. Well, Stephen McDonnell is in Hong Kong watching that story for us. Uh, Stephen, uh, we know that's been a hardline response from uh, China. Any idea on what kind of retaliatory measures they might take and will this all lead to a trade war? In other news, former South Korean President Lee Myung-bak has been arrested on charges of bribery, embezzlement and misuse of power. Mr. Lee has been accused of taking millions of dollars in bribes and amassing a slush fund of more than 30... Now, tests have confirmed that this small 15-centimeter-long skeleton is not, as many believed, an alien. It was discovered intact in Chile's Atacama Desert in 2003, and its unusual physical features led to lots of speculation. It was the remains of an extraterrestrial, but actually DNA tests have now confirmed it belonged to a newborn indigenous girl with genetic mutations. And just qu a quick piece of breaking news reaching us from our colleagues in the Vietnamese service. At least 13 people have apparently been killed at a huge blaze at the Karina residential block in Ho Chi Minh. Uh, according to uh, local media, many residents remain trapped inside. We'll try to bring you more on that story when we get it. Now, French police have clashed with protesters in Paris as public sector workers across the country went on strike. They are reacting against President Emmanuel Macron's plans to cut jobs and benefits. Lucy Williamson has more. Now, it's already a multi-million dollar industry and it's predicted to become a multi-billion dollar one by the end of the decade. It's called eSports uh, to you and I, which is professional video gaming. It's fast becoming a spectator sport and a big business in turn. And now eSports is to become a medal event at the 2022 Asian Games. Well, Chester... I'm Sharon Duke-Nail in London, also on the programme. Now, U.S. President Trump has also announced plans for $60 billion worth of tariffs on China, moving the prospect of a trade war between the world's two largest economies one step closer. Now, his move prompted a swift response from China. Beijing forcefully denounced the tariffs, saying it will defend its own legitimate interests with all necessary measures. Our correspondent Stephen McDonnell has the latest. To me earlier, also making news today, an EU summit in Brussels has agreed with the British Prime Minister that Russia was highly likely to be responsible for the nerve agent attack on a former spy. Now, Russia continues to deny any involvement in the attack, but the EU leader said there was no. Now, tests have confirmed that this small 15 centimeter long skeleton is not, as many believed, an alien. I discovered intact in Chile's Atacama Desert in 2003. It's actually unusual physical features uh, led to lots of speculation. It was the remains of an extraterrestrial, but DNA tests now confirm it belonged to a newborn indigenous girl with genetic mutations. Well, back now to our top story and the naming of John Bolton by President Trump as the new national security advisor. We can get some analysis now, French police have clashed with protesters in Paris as public sector workers across the country went on strike. They are reacting against President Emmanuel Macron's plans to cut jobs and benefits. Lucy Williamson has more. Well, speaking earlier to Rico, she did go on to sing you happy birthday, Rico, so a happy birthday to you. And another celebration of sorts, Prince Harry and his American fiancée Meghan Markle have invited 600 guests to their wedding in May. The invitations were sent out this 